Hi, I'm Tony Poulos and I am at MWC, the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Today I have with me Anthony Collins, who is the Director of 5G Radio IP and RF Ecosystem at AMD. Welcome, Anthony, again. We met up last year. Good to see and you. Paul Sutton, who is the CEO of Software Radio Systems, or SRS as it's more commonly known. Gentlemen, great to start today with you. And firstly, Anthony, I'd like to know more about the demo that you are doing here at MWC and what it's all about. Right, well, we're building on what we showed last year, uh, Tony, and we have a full RAN solution from AMD. So we have a VRAN solution based on a super micro Epic 8004 processor, and that's actually running the SRS 5G software stack. And that server is connected to our radio reference design that we showed last year. So we have a full ORU reference design, and we show full end-to-end -end performance here using Viavi equipment for UE emulation and core emulation. Paul, uh, Anthony mentioned that uh, the 5G stack is from you, from SRS. Can you tell us a little about SRS and why your software stack is used in this particular demonstration? Yeah, happy to do so. So we're a EU company headquartered in Ireland, but with operations in Spain and Germany. Um, so we've been on the go for about a decade. And we're a relatively small company, about two thirds PhD graduates with a background in providing mobile wireless software for special use cases. Um, so we have a background in air-to-ground networks, in satellite networks, and our new 5G RAN stack is targeted for private 5G. Um, it has a couple of advantages. It is a fully designed in-house 5G RAN stack, layer one, two, and three. Um, it is a portable stack, so not tied to any particular hardware, running really, really well on the AMD Epic 8004. Um, and that's what we're showcasing here, really showcasing that portability that flexibility uh, and the modularity. Um, and we're delighted to showcase uh, the new processor from AMD, really energy efficient processor. We're showing end to end with the AMD radio at this stand. And we're also showcasing a use case with up to 10 cells running up to 500 UEs on each cell in our meeting room uh, separately. Anthony, you mentioned in the demo that you're using AMD Silicon and also uh, uh, Paul did as well for both the radio and the VRAN. Can you walk us through some more details around that? Sure. I mean, the radio is based on our RFSOC DFE platform. Um, we've implemented a full ORAN reference design using our evaluation board. And this is a ZCU 670 evaluation board. So this board supports everything you need to bring up your radio design. And of course, the big part of the solution here is the VRAN based on our Epic 8004 processor. So super micro server running the SRS stack. So a full AMD silicon based solution for the RAN. Anthony, you mentioned an RF partner for the radio front end. Why is that important? Well, it's really important that we collaborate with a broader ecosystem. Of course, the software and the VRAN is really important, but a critical part of the radio is the RF. It drives a lot of the energy consumption in the network and it's really important. So we spend a lot of time collaborating with folks like ICANA and other RF vendors to ensure the most efficient energy performance for the radio using their RF front ends. So Paul, what's next for SRS? What can we expect to see in the coming year? So we're, we're seeing huge demand for a, a more nimble software solution for open RAN. And so we're really ramping up deployments of SRS RAN. Uh, we have deployments this year in the US in Spain, in Ireland, in Belgium, in Portugal. Um, and so that's where our focus is right now. We're also seeing huge interest in non-terrestrial networking and we have a strong background of experience in that uh, area. Um, so that's a really strong area of growth for us. Anthony, a similar question for you, of course, how will AMD continue to support customers developing their RAN solutions? We'll bring the next version of our reference design to market uh, this year. So we'll release it in a couple of weeks. Um, We'll have full end, uh, end performance on that reference design. As I mentioned, we'll continue to collaborate with our RF partners. There's more technology coming this year, again, to try and address the energy efficiency in the radio through management of the power efficiency and the power amplifiers in particular. Well, Anthony and Paul, great for getting the understanding of what the demo is covering and best of luck for the coming year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tony. Thank you.